Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. All right, so in today's video, I am going to share with you guys a meditation that I did on uh, October 26th of this year and what came through. In my last video, I actually shared uh, the, a, med a couple of meditations, one I had on the 24th and one I had on the 25th of October. So this was the meditation on the 26th. So I thought I would go ahead and share it with you guys um, because it ties into a lot, a lot into the two previous meditations that I shared. All right, so for this meditation, I set my intention um, on knowing why I under why I feel such a strong connection with a particular individual. So as I as I sat in meditation, and as I mentioned in the last video, so a lot of people will sit like this, right, with their hands on their knees. Um, inevitably, if I do that, my hands come together, and a lot of times, as immediately as my hands uh, come together, um, I there's this. I can see within meditation a blue ball of energy so it's blue but it has white um, like white light in the middle all right so uh, I saw this blue ball of light in my hands and it began to rise and expand and I when it did that, I understood the vision I had in uh, the meditation that I had the previous night on the 25th. So if you haven't watched the previous uh, video in this series, in this playlist, in the Mystical Dreams and Visions um, playlist, go check that out. So, uh, so as this blue orb began to rise and expand, Again, I understood the vision I had in the meditation the previous night of, um, it was a past life regression. I was a goddess on um, Lumeria and I was working with um, a bluish purplish light or energy. So let's see. Uh, the, all right, so the blue and purple colors were the third eye and crown chakras that is just something that came to me uh telepathically um that i was working with the third eye and the crown chakra uh energies all right so i then saw myself in a forest of light um and I was, as I was in this forest of light, I saw slash felt a, a gray mist um, descend. And it was, as, it was as though the forest was being enveloped um, in a pair of large wings, right? So it was a gray mist, but it was like, you know, I'm standing in this forest of light and this gray mist descends, but it was like a, uh, two pairs or a pair of giant wings that were going like this. So it would, there would be the gray mist and then there would be the light and then the gray mist and then the light. Uh, let me, all right. So uh, these wings like open and close several times around uh, around the entire forest, which I was in by myself. And when this stopped, I saw myself kneeling on the ground uh, in this gray mist. Um, so these wings were opening and closing and they must have closed because here I was kneeling on the ground in the gray mist and the word Caldonia and later maybe it could have been Macedonia uh, came to mind. And here I was, I had dark hair, darker skin that, you know, than I do now. Um, it's as if I were 
of Indian or Asian descent maybe. Um, and I was holding a man in my arms. Um, he was my husband. So this must have been, and so this must have been a, um, another past life regression. So uh, this man, my husband, uh, apparently had been killed in a battle, I believe. That's just a sense that I got. Uh, he was wearing armor, not like, um, not like a knight would be wearing armor, but uh, what came to mind was uh, in the time of Genghis Khan, that type of armor. Um, all right, so uh, he was so he was wearing armor, and then I saw my, and that was it. Uh, that scene ended, and then I saw myself as a prostitute again. Now, in one of my previous videos, uh, I think my first past life regression video, I shared that I went through a past life regression where I was a prostitute. Um, and had given birth. So in this particular meditation, I saw myself again as a prostitute uh, in the tavern giving birth. The father of my child was at my right side uh, with his hand on my shoulder. And I just had the sense that he really loved me. And then I realized that the woman I saw a couple of nights ago in meditation, um, from the Old West was my wife. Oh, so I shared this too. Um, and I think the first past life regression video where I saw a woman, um, she was in the same sort of, she was wearing the same sort of like dress as uh, the mother in the show Little House on the Prairie. So from the, 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 old, the old Wild West, you could say. Um, <coughs> so, uh, so here I am uh, as the, I'm this prostitute and the tavern giving birth and the father of my child was at my right side with his hand on my shoulder. I knew he loved me. And for some reason, I then realized that the woman I saw a couple of nights ago in meditation, this woman you know, in this old west type dress, uh, was my wife and I was a welder. So in the previous video, you'll know that uh, I was shown a past life where I was a welder. And that scene tied into a previous vision I had uh, while doing, I think it was light language maybe, or a past life regression. There's so much going on, it's hard to keep up. <laughs> um, so I was, I was a welder. Um, and then from my vision um, on the 25th in my last video, I saw myself as what I believe was a being of light. So as you can see here, I'm, ta I'm being taken through several past life regressions. Um, again, I'm on Lemuria. Um, I'm then in the forest, um, holding my husband who had just died in battle. And, you know, I'm seeing myself as a prostitute again. And um, then I'm realizing um, that I, I was a welder. And being a welder, um, I, my wife that I saw in a previous, uh, vision is now being shown to me and now I'm being shown that I was also a being of light and and I am in what looked like a council uh, of a few beings of light and I felt as though that we were uh, near some metallic console and I asked again because my intention at the beginning of the meditation was to understand why I had such a strong connection with a particular individual. So, <clears throat> um, I, 
as I'm seeing myself now as this light being uh, in this uh, in this council of other beings, I telepathically asked again about my connection to this individual. <clears throat> and I saw the man with the white hair, right? Um, that was standing with me, the priest um, on Lumeria. Um, I, again, was a goddess, he was a priest. Um, let's see. And so he was my husband, I was the goddess, and I was working with the energy of the third eye and the crown chakra and the two children, the teenagers, were ours. Um, and I was told telepathically in this meditation now that I was a sixth, I was once a sixth, sixth, sixth dimensional being um, who ascended to the ninth dimension and um, that when I was in the sixth dimension, I split, my soul split, my consciousness split. Um, so when I was in the sixth dimension, my soul split my consciousness into two. Um, I am a goddess, Lumeria. My husband was a priest. So it's my soul had split. So now we're two parts of the, we're two parts of the same soul, right? Husband and wife. But I decided, or I had completed my journey or whatever, so I ascended to the ninth dimension. Just like we here in the third dimension are, as we awaken, we ascend, right? So we're now in the process of ascending to the fourth dimension and then um, to the fifth dimension. So on our journey here right now on earth, um, so we split, I ascended to the ninth dimension, but when I ascended, my other half did not. So he wanted to, um, I, at this point, I don't know if he wanted to stay in the sixth, this, in the sixth dimension or um, incarnate here on earth at that time um so what happened next um at this point i was reminded again of being a minor in a past life i was alone at that time and not with my other half uh and i so <coughs> I, I don't know the time frame here. All right. Um, so at one point after my my soul had split my consciousness, so I think they call this like um, twin flames. I don't know much about twin flames, but um, I think by definition that's like two souls. But anyway, so I was being shown this. Um, but at some point. I had incarnated, incarnated here on earth, um, possibly after I had ascended to the ninth dimension. Um, I'm guessing at some point I had agreed to incarnate here on earth. Um, and one of my lives was as a minor. So I, ex I was alone as a minor. I experienced a period of darkness and loneliness and I realized that this, or I had this, yeah, I had this like sense that, oh, I might, maybe that's what I carried into this current lifetime. Part of my Akash, right? Part of um, the experiences I've had in past life, that darkness and loneliness. Perhaps that's why I dealt with anxiety and depression for 40 plus years it had some because it was part of my akash and something i had 
carried with me in this particular incarnation I am in now so uh and then for whatever reason the significance of uh certain numbers came to mind um the difference between the sixth dimension and the ninth dimension is three Th uh the difference between the years 2015 to 2018 and I don't know why these two years came up oh 2015 was the year I reconnected with the individual that I was inquiring about who I realized now is my twin flame based on kind of what I'm experiencing um and then 2018 was right after I had um, really overcome anxiety and depression. That was a pivotal point. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that goes on when you are, you're, when you're really connected with someone and you if they are a twin flame I don't again I don't know a lot about it but there's something some sort of connection between the the experiences that I encounter the things that I learned etc um, between the years 2015 2018 um, and then so that's three years in between and then 2018 to 2021 is three years this has been a significant year for me on my awakening journey and my all that I've been experiencing in meditation with past life regression dreams visions etc and then 2001 to 2024 is three years so <clears throat> what I've learned <coughs> is there is um, There's supposedly, as we're ascending now, as Earth, Gaia is really ascending um, into the fifth dimension, right? Um, there's supposedly a significant event that's supposed to happen in 2024. There's also a couple of years, two years ago, two years ago um, I started affirming uh, a significant manifestation uh, to occur in August of 2024 before I even had this meditation ever occurred so and I'm be like I'm not asking about the significance of dates in this med meditation these things are just coming to me the difference between the sixth and the ninth dimension is three the difference between the years 2015 to 2018 is three 2018 to 2021 is three 2021 to 2024 is three all being significant points of reference in my spiritual growth and relationship with um, you know a particular individual that I had inquired about so again I didn't ask about the significance of these dates it just came to me all right so I don't yet know the significance of the eighth month in my manifestation in my manifestation um, my affirmation I, I came up with a particular date and I don't it was a it's 824 and I don't know I didn't know at the time why um, <clears throat> I still don't know the significance of the number eight and why that came to mind it was just random um, so in this meditation as the significance of these numbers uh, are coming to me 
Um, I asked telepathically, I asked my higher self, my guides, what have you, um, what do I do now? <laughs> what do I do now with all of this information? Um, and I saw a golden card. Like a golden, like a business card or something. And a wave of energy. So I saw a golden card and this wave of energy. And I was told telepathically, love. That's it, love. You ascended from the sixth to the ninth dimension. He is in a six, he is a sixth dimensional being. But your other half, he, he is a six dimensional being, but your other half. So you must pull him up to your frequency along this energetic cord. Oh, it was a cord, a golden cord I saw, not a card, a cord. Um, he is a six dimensional being, but your other half. So you must pull him up to your frequency along this energetic cord so that you can ascend as one to the ninth dimension. All right, so <coughs> that was that meditation. All right, um, let's see, what date was that? That was the 26th. Oh, I had another meditation. I did another meditation on this particular date, so share that with you guys in another video because this one's already really long all right so if you are experiencing anything like this uh if you're on your journey and um you are wondering if you have incarnated on earth before if you understand consciousness um the elohim and that we are infinite beings and you want more information, just meditate, all right? All of the answers are within you, and if you want the answers, it will be revealed to you. Now everything um, happens at an appointed time as well, but if you, if you really want answers, just meditate and set your intention or ask, and you will receive the answers in time, I promise you. All right, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. See you guys next time. Bye.